This is calculator question number 30 from SAT practice test 1. College board gives you the graph of a quadratic equation and asks which is an equivalent form from which the coordinates of the vertex can be identified as constants in the equation. We're tempted to say, oh, we have zeros at negative 3 and 5, so that's y equals x minus negative 3, x minus 5, which is choice A. Or we might directly factor the equation. Those are things we often do in our math class where we rarely bother to read the word problems because you're used to. We cover something all week. We give you a quiz that asks the thing we covered that week just with different numbers in the equation. College Board generally tests for this. You have to read the words of the equation, in particular coordinates of vertex A. Since we have the equation, I'm going to graph x squared minus 2x minus 15 in my graphing calculator. Second calc, choice 3 is the minimum between, let's say, negative 5 and positive 5 because the vertex is clearly between negative 5 and 5. Guess, I'll just go with the default. And I get x equals 1, y equals negative 16. The only equation that has a negative 16 in it would be choice D. So D is the equivalent form in which the coordinates of the vertex can be identified as content, constants. This is vertex form. But the important thing is to read the question carefully to make sure that your answer answers their question. Choice A is equivalent and choice C is equivalent, but they do not answer the question. So this was wrong and C was wrong because they don't answer the question even though they are equivalent forms of the equation. B is wrong both because it doesn't answer and because it's not equivalent. Choice D is the correct answer. College Board often asks you to rewrite a quadratic or a polynomial. Come back soon for my next math video. With math, there's always more.